that. Right. Okay. Okay. So um. We have. A okay. Uh, so I'm around my friend Stuart's house. Um, he's got decent collection. Um, me and him went to a reptile shop today. Picked up this um, adult female um, albino green Burmese python. She's really nice. She's about 11, 12 foot. Um, I've got the male, um, not at mine at the moment, my male is Albino Granite. He's about 8 foot. Um, it's not the best bet to have him around your neck really, but this one's really friendly and um, not really going to make a habit of it to put it over my shoulder. So uh, Stu's going to show you around his bedroom and just show you basically all his collection. Um, go for it, Stu. Right on. Well, over here we have a stack of really useful boxes. I'm not going to go into them at the moment, we'll probably run out of time. Make sure you know what you're filming, dude. Uh, in here we've got a bow constrictor. Stand back. Okay, go on. Mid 07, rescue. One male corn. Uh, wait, we're down here. And another male corn in here. In here we've Amels. got Amels. Yeah. In here we have an albino green Burmese young male. Um, Missy as fuck. Tiny bit cage defensive. He's five foot, tiny but bit. we're getting out of that. Yeah. Going down a viv. Oh shit. Two thousand and four Royal Python. She's coming home with me. Going home with Dan. Getting duffed up. She's going to my mail tonight. Hopefully we should have some baby royals soon. Now my main interest is spiders. And over there, you see... Hang on, before you get bitched at. This will be going in a 7 foot by 2 foot tank, which is huge for it. Um, so Stu's going to be keeping his in there, which he's getting tomorrow. Um, my mail will be going in something similar size. So go on. Right, so I'm just going to tear my ruler wall apart. And inside here, oh, film. being filmed by Dan now. <sighs> get it done properly now. Right. We have my space pot full of tarantulas. There's over 128 in here, different species, sizes, shapes, and stuff like that. Uh, praying mantids. To the far side, cockroach colony, western hog nose. Got them. <laughs> western hog nose, yeah. Let's see it. We shall see it. We've got plenty of time, we've got three minutes yet so far. Here she is, too far. Oh, <laughs> it's so fucking hard. Oh shit. Right. The firm is now going to be. Okay, we're back again. Um, it just paused, so I don't know if I'm going to have to do this in two videos or one. So go on, carry on. This is my 07 hog nose. The berm's about to go under my wardrobe. Not always yeah. a good thing. <laughs> okay. We direct her to a temporary viv. Um, picked up. I originally went for this. Came back with the male albino green Burmese. You get some very convincing people down here. Sometimes too convincing. Um, recently, me and Dan went hands on a pair of Carl Strain. You will see all of these. I will be making videos, don't worry, guys. Um, I know I haven't been making many videos recently, but I'll start making them again now. So, Carl Strain Pastel Hep for Albino Bell Constrictors. Did you say that it was Pastel, yeah? I did indeed. Oh, not listening. These are from DM, DM Reptile. DM Reptile. Very nice snakes. The male's stunning, I think, say myself. Um, My male is much nicer, but I'm joking. <laughs> and this is a person who's looking after his bird. <laughs> they look pretty much the same. Um, a few corns in there. A few corns, ready for boxes. Uh, there's an amal, I believe. Yes. Um, a baby royal python that's not actually a baby, it just never eats. And then there's a snow corn right there. And then what have you got in there? You've got another ML. Yeah, there's that ML there. Alright, uh, show a few spiders. 
Okay, Stu spiders. breeds um, spiders. He's got how many you got in there? 130 tarantulas. Yeah, 130 tarantulas. Oh, it's gone, gone away. down the Right, you step away and I'm filming a. Okay, so here is all spiders. Okay, if anybody has any requests um, for videos around Stuart's house, then just leave them in a the comment below. Um, I'll get them done. Come over here pretty often. What's in there? Uh, yeah, I come over here pretty. I come over every now and again. So if you have anything that you want him to film, uh, you got any pairs to put together for the video? I do. We might have to put that on a different video, but okay. This is a Monos and Troopers Balfour I. Quite uncommon. I see it very well. Quite uncommon in the hobby. Dan's scared of spiders, unfortunately. I'm not scared. I okay, don't he just doesn't like, doesn't them. like them. And won't go too close to them. Very aggressive. She's in a threat display at the moment. Worth two hundred pound. Two hundred. Two hundred pound. You taking the piss? And I have a mail for her as well. Spiderlings worth about eighty pound each. But I would probably keep as many as I can for future breeding stock. You've got the only male in the UK, ain't you? Something? Um, that's... At the moment I've got a male Orgocephalus species Mozambique, which is very uncommon. Entered the hobby about the beginning of the year. First thing that cost me £70. Pound. You know it's coming up. Arrived, dead on arrival. Yeah. Yep. Do you have a documentary going on here? Why? Making a video. This is my dad, we're going to get him to stand back because you don't want to see him. <laughs> Alright, he'll probably put me on a fucking boring strike. <laughs> Make sure that's locked up. Yeah, she's just gone back in there, we've just had her out. Um. Did you find a tape measure out of her too? I did, but if you could keep your mouth shut for now, it would be much appreciated by me and the many viewers of Reptile Band's videos. And some wanker. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. That's just a shit hole behind there. It's true, it's about time you clean your bloody room. I know. Go on, man. Go on, boy. This ain't going in the game mag, is it? No. <laughs> it's been in. Right, dude. Like, just over two minutes, two, two minutes there. He's going to show some more spiders or something. Um, Not that I ain't really bothered about this. Right on. Um, dodgy movement here. I should have bought my disc, really, shouldn't I? You should have. Posted a Theria fasciata, Indian ornamental. Oh. Probably not recommended I do this, but I have. What would happen if that bit you? Um, it would lead to severe cramps for a few weeks. Um, swelling, localised. Stu had a spider, I keep going on about this, that... no. <laughs> <laughs> Stu didn't have a spider. <laughs> no. Re Stu didn't have anything. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, what else have we got in here? Um, praying mantids. I don't oh, mantis. Get, get the one that um, does the display. I did a mantis diabolica. Uh, devil's, flower man devil's flower mantis. They get stunning threat displays out of these. Um, Do it. I just got to poke it. It's going to jump a few times and then be long. Come on, you. <laughs> when these are adult, they go bright green. Hello. Yeah. Bright green with the markings on the prothorax and the forearms. Then they have fully grown wings, which they flap at you. They don't really fly. And they also hiss, so it's quite a threat display. Which hopefully, in the future, I will be able to show you. Okay, 30 seconds, let's wrap it up. Okay, so there will be plenty more videos of Stu's collection. This was just a quick look, seems as I'm around his house. Um, any requests for videos, just leave them underneath, get them done as soon as I can. I'll be having videos of my collection very soon. So, yeah, anything anyone wants to see, just say. Um, I'm going to be doing another reptile room tour as well. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, we'll have few more videos coming. We're about to feed everything, aren't we? We are indeed. So we're going to have a video of that. So, yeah, see you later.